You're watching the Gopher Coaches Show. Yeah, we're rising up. Welcome back to the Gopher Coaches Show. I'm Ahmad Hicks, Justin Gar, Coach Plitzewai, and none other than the Mar Braun joining the desk right now. Mar, how are you today? That was a good intro. I, Thank I try, you. I try. You know, we, we got to step it up when you're uh, joining the desk with us. So I want to talk about your start to this season. You raised your averages in almost every category that that was possible. You lowered your turnovers. How did you feel like you were playing before your injury? I think just with more confidence. Um, I think going through a whole season before, dealing with obviously a lot of adversity then too, um, just really helped. And I just say every year I just want to continue to get better um, each year in every part of my game. And I think I did that, especially on the defensive end too early on. Um, and then just continuing to expand my game in all assets. Um, and you were doing things on both sides of the ball. We've talked to Coach about that. that they're not just missing you offensively. Mm -hmm. I'm curious, just how has the rehab process been? I know the answer. <laughs> I assume it's horrible, but just how, how difficult has this stretch been? Yeah, it's definitely tough. Um, obviously, you don't really know until you're, you're put into it. And I always saw you know, Nia doing her rehab every day, Kennedy. And once you're in it, you kind of understand that you know, that love and passion for the game has just grown so much for me and just wanting to be out there. Um, rehab, taking it day by day, obviously getting stronger physically, but then mentally and spiritually too, so I'm a better version of myself when I come back. When we're seeing the injury here, obviously, mm -hmm. Illinois, of course, you make the shot. Um, that's right of in front course, of us yeah. on the bench and the radio crew. <laughs> you tried to stay in the game. You yeah. wanted to stay in the yeah. game. I think waved off a sub to get you out of the yeah. game. When did you know, though, it was it was something more serious and you needed to get out of there? Yeah, and like you said, I, I kept trying to go. I waved off Maggie afterwards. I'm like, sorry, I didn't mean for that to be <laughs> a little rude, but I was just a little fired up in the moment, um, starting to feel good again after kind of a little slump. But, you know, it happens. I think I kept going up and down just to see if I could kind of stretch it out, get it going a little bit, but it was at the point where I was like, I can't. I can't really put pressure on it. I thought they were going to take advantage of me on that defensive, <laughs> and I was a liability at that time, but no. It's all right. It happens. Injury Coach happens. P, what's the hardest part about speaking with the medical staff and then having to go tell one of your better players that they may be done for the rest of the season after such a hot start? Well, the good or the bad news is I didn't have to do that. I think <laughs> the, the good or the bad news on the other end is they had to tell me those okay. kind of things. So, uh, but yeah, I think Mar probably knew that before I knew that at that point in time. But it, really challenging. But we also know again that she's she's going to do everything that she can, and we're watching her grow right now physically getting stronger, but mentally approaching the game and seeing the game. And she is someone, Mara, someone who is, oh, I've said she, she's a, she has a great ability to understand what she needs to do in the, in the moment, but she also has this very special ability to help others, guide others, see what they need to do too. So we would talk a lot about what, she, what we missed from her on the offensive end or defense end, but there's more to it than that. It's right. sometimes mm -hmm. just the calming presence yeah. of here's what you can do at this point in time, sure. or here's what we're going to do, or... Maybe it's get me the ball. I don't know what it is exactly, but there's a common presence to it. Mara, how hard has it been to get you off the court? Because as we see this video right now, you're getting shots up. You're walking around without a boot on or anything like that. So how much have coaches had to say, hey, take a step back, just relax a little bit? <laughs> no, I think it's more so myself just wanting to continue to, to get better in any way I can, um, whether that's, you know, in practice, shooting while everyone else is doing their thing or just continuing to communicate and bring energy um, especially on the defensive end, uh, that's something I can control right now. And so I think that, and then also trying to build up other people like Amaya, like G, um, Mal, to use their voices because that's really important right now too. Yeah, I was gonna, that was kind of where I wanted to go next is how have you been able to be a leader when you're not yeah. on the court? I mean, that's something you've never had to do before. Usually you could just say, just, I'll get the ball, we'll, we'll figure it out from there. <laughs> how different has it been for you to have to do it this way? Yeah, for me, I think, you know, just continuing to grow – on my IQ mindset off the court, being able to help others, kind of direct them. Right now I'm really focused on working with McKenna and trying to get her ready for next year too. Um, but then just with, with G, Amaya, Mal, um, continuing to grow their confidence in their games and to allow them to trust themselves, especially right now when they might have to take like those end of game shots um, that I normally would. But I think it's all going to work out for the better. Um, it's just part of the process right now. And you talked about McKenna Johnson. That's a mm -hmm. retro freshman this season who's going to step into a big role next year. For you, how excited are you to get back on the court and play with this young group of talent that you yeah. guys have on this roster? 
she she's a hard worker. She right away when she came in, constantly getting shots up. And for me, I love to see that because that's something that I take pride into. So having other people that want are that hungry, that want to be in the gym, and you know, she comes in when I was playing still she'd have to guard me every day and have to guard us through our sets and just continuing to make us better too and that'll benefit her in the long run so for me right now you know she'll come over on the sideline and be like hey what should I work on for this possession and I just love that because I want to be a coach so that's awesome Mm -hmm. for me to be able to experience that but she's she wants to be good and I love that about her all right we have about 20 seconds left is there anything left anything else you want to say about this team coach P or what you're excited about most next season I'm just excited to continue to grow this, um, get new pieces in here. Obviously, we showed what we're capable of earlier this season. Adversity hit, um, but it happens, and we'll grow from it. But I think really optimistic from what we saw earlier on. Well, you heard it from Mara Braun, one of the best players on the Gophers team. She's excited about next season. So any transfer portal players or recruits <laughs> listening to her, pay attention. Big things coming for the Gophers next season. Now stick around. 